This is Mayor Paul Broder. Happy Friday, everyone. Today is June 19th, also known as Juneteenth. On January 1st, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation went into effect, recognizing and securing in law the unalienable right to freedom of every enslaved person behind Confederate lines. Over two and a half years later, Union Army General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas, and read Order Number 3 on June 19, 1965, informing the enslaved residents of that state of their freedom. Juneteenth is now a day of celebration and remembrance. You can view the city's proclamation that I issued today and learn more on the city website. Our latest COVID-19 numbers are very encouraging. According to DPH data, we did not have any new cases during the last week's reporting period. This is great news. And to keep it going, we need to continue to be diligent by using face coverings and maintaining our social distancing. One good result of everyone's discipline and cooperation in this public health protection effort is that Governor Baker has announced that restaurants can open for inside dining beginning Monday. Some restrictions still apply, so you should call your favorite local restaurants to ask about their plans and make a reservation. In the meantime, enjoy the outdoor seating options being offered by several Melrose restaurants or grab some takeout. Finally, the Mel Melrose and the Human Rights Commission will be kicking off a week of Pride events with the raising of the Pride flag at Melrose City Hall this Sunday at 9 a.m. Unlike years past, the HRC has some amazingly creative ways to celebrate virtually, and I hope you will all take part. Visit the HRC Facebook page for more information about Melrose Pride 2020 events. Have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, especially Norm Broder. They are another reason why, together, we will get through this. Thank you.